I can always identify with the great Iron Mike Tyson with a difficult upbringing, not being liked and loved by many people, people misunderstanding you, a tragic failure in your life, tragic loss of people that you love and needed and they're either left through death or they left left through abandonment and also a real hole in Mike Tyson's legacy is some of the terrible public behavior he said some of the worst things and did some of the worst things in the ring in boxing history and it's such a shame because it really puts a blemish on his incredible record, his incredible accomplishments, his incredible, exciting career. No man put more bumps on seats than this man in modern times, apart from Muhammad Ali. My concern now is the person that Mike Tyson has become. He wants to avoid his past. He wants to shut it away like it didn't exist. Not realizing that the platform he has now is because of his history, because of his past. And it's a shame that yes, he did make mistake after mistake. Even his fights started to end in shame. He had no content, no contests, disqualifications. People pulling out, boxers pulling out between rounds. It was a very difficult end to his career. But he's failed to maintain or grasp some stability. I so wish this man would come to know the Lord Jesus Christ. He's tried everything. He's tried Islam. It did not work for him. It did not last. He needs to come to the Lord Jesus Christ. If I saw Mike Tyson, I'd say, Tyson, please come to Christ before it's too late. I understand you, bro. I've been where you've been. I've been through what you've been through. I've lost what you've lost. Of course, I've never had what you had physically, financially, but I know about failure. I know about self-hatred. I know about public hatred, public disrespect. People not wanting to be near you, want to ignore you, not understanding you. And of course, the male failure of continuously failing, falling and messing up. I understand that. But you see, Jesus gives us a second chance and he gives us opportunities to develop and to move forward and to go forward. And I really believe that Tyson can do that in his older years but I still think he should not flush his boxing career history down the toilet that he can use that to inspire the whole world just like Evander Holyfield did but he did it in a Christian way he elevated the Lord Jesus Christ after his fights and said that the Lord gave him the strength to overcome in fact Holyfield really overcame Mike Tyson through the power of the Holy Spirit. He had the inner belief, the inner strength, and Tyson dared to challenge the God of Evander Holyfield. And obviously, God was not gonna allow a false God to overcome him. So that was really a spiritual battle, more than people realize. And that's why this fight was one of the greatest fights in history. It was a long battle, and only one man can win, the follower, of the Lord Jesus Christ. Holyfield tapped into that inner strength, that inner ability, that spiritual strength. He tapped into the spiritual world, brought that power into the fight, and he could not lose. He would not lose. And I'm hoping and praying that Tyson will be exposed to this, to the bright side of the force to Christianity, real biblical Christianity, not the modern paganistic one we have today, the weak one, the worldly one. No, not that one. Christian Christianity that was based and started and, 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 and built by 12 strong apostles, 
12 men that turned cities upside down just because of their belief. The same belief that Evander Holyfield used to overcome Mike Tyson. It's the same belief these men had where they were willing to die for their beliefs. So Mike Tyson is like a lost sheep out there in the world. Uh, building a cannabis factory and feeling sorry for himself and being on these radio shows with these other filthy foul mouth guys talking crap all day long when you're talking the one of the greatest boxers that ever lived and how he failed to build something financial of his greatness of his name so many people use his name to make adverts, to make games, to make movies. And I'm wondering, did Mike Tyson financially benefit from all that? Because he was such a massive money maker. But like many boxers, black boxers, they failed to have financial independence or financial intelligence. So they don't keep that wealth and it slips through their fingers and they actually end up bankrupt and broke. And it's incredible. Because Mike Tyson had 400 million pass through his hands in 10 years. So I'm really hoping he finds Christ. I'm really hoping he finds the Lord. And then he will have real purpose in his life. Then like George Foreman, he'll be able to give back to the world. And be a role model. A real role model. Not because of someone that just talks truth as the world says. He talks his mind. No. A man that can intelligently develop others with his words. A man that can sustain himself. That can build something in the later years. That can somehow he can achieve some of the wealth he had back. And I pray that one day he actually goes back to his boxing career and says, yes, yes, truly I was great in the ring. And I'm going to continue my career by helping other fighters and instilling Christian values into them like George Foreman did, like Evander Holyfield did. Bringing Christ into the sport and being a real positive Christian role model. I believe Mike Tyson should and could and I hope that he does do that. Because I still see potential in him. I still see greatness in him. But right now, he's like a, a broken individual that wants to forget all the terrible things he's done in his past. Because of his very traumatic career. But you're still a man. And you're still alive. And until the day we die, we must not give up. Even if we suffer. People abandon us, people divorce us, people leave us, people hate us, dislike us. We can say sorry, ask for forgiveness, clean ourselves up, pick ourselves up, move on, develop ourselves, make something of our lives and be somebody on this earth until the Lord Jesus Christ chooses to take me home. Mike Tyson, I want to see you in heaven. This is Nigel Bennett from the UK. Have a fantastic day.